alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Alma Nasahi and I am a associate nutritionist. The aim of this show is to help you understand all of the different information about your health and about nutrition to help you make informed choices that will help you to improve your health, your overall health and your well-being. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with different information about nutrition, about different types of food, what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat, it's important for us to understand nutrition and food and based on that we can make our choices, which is what is going to help us in the long run um, live happily and healthily. Today's topic is about how to achieve a balanced meal. And that's very important for us when we break our fast because that is what is going to fuel us for the next day and provide our body with the nutrients that it needs to be able to function well. Last time we spoke about the main different uh, nutrients that we get, so the macronutrients and also the micronutrients. So the macronutrient that we spoke about last time was about proteins and why they're important and what are the different sources of protein and how can we include them as part of our meals. And then we spoke about um, micronutrients or the main sources of micronutrients, which are things like fruits and vegetables and milk and dairy. Both those food groups provide our body with the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, things like antioxidants and fiber that help our body function well. They give us the building blocks for our body to be able to function. That's why it's very important to have them as part of a balanced meal and to include them um, as part of our daily uh, diet, especially in the month of Ramadan when we need those extra nutrients because we have long periods of fast. Today we are going to be focusing about the two other macronutrients that we mentioned last time. And those are the fats and the carbohydrates. And both of those, the fats and the carbohydrates, form a balanced meal and a balanced diet. So we'll start by focusing on the fats. The fats are essential for life. Um, fats in the past have been demonized. A lot of people have a negative impression about fats that you shouldn't have them. However, what's important to keep in mind is the source of fat or where we get those fats from and how those fats fit into our diet. So it'd be very different, for example, if we had something like burger and chips compared to nuts or oily fish or avocados. Both of us give us fats, but they're very different because of how they uh, change in our body and how they break down into the body. So when it comes to fats, what's important to keep in mind is to always choose a healthy source of fat and a natural source of fat, um, a type of fat that didn't go through high levels of chemicals or high levels of heat um, to be able to extract that fat. That fat will, be, uh, will provide our body with a great energy source and that's why it's important to have them in our diet. So things like extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed rapeseed oil, things like oily fish, nuts, avocados, those will be great sources of fats. As for the carbohydrates, carbohydrates break down into glucose. Now, what is glucose? Glucose is the main energy source in our diet uh, um, and that's what fuels our body. And it's important, again, to get the right type of carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are main two different types. We've got sugary carbohydrate and starchy carbohydrates. Starchy carbohydrates are things like bread, rice, pasta, potatoes. Sugary carbohydrates are anything that has sugar in it. So that's things like sugar, uh, cakes, sweets, chocolates, biscuits, all of those will give us uh, carbohydrates. It's always better to go for the whole grain carbohydrates rather than the refined carbohydrates because they have a little bit more fiber in them and uh, they keep you fuller for longer periods of time because the energy is released slower because of the fiber. So it's important to still include the carbohydrates and fats as part of your meal but remember, don't rely on one food group much more than the, than the other. The key is to try and balance everything. I hope you found um, today's uh, episode useful and I hope now you have the knowledge of how to achieve a balanced meal when it comes to your futur or your suhoor. Thank you for joining us and ma'as salama.